hearth is lit and it's time to forge you another stream and today we are kicking off our adventure once again with oxygen not included continuing on from last week oh that's the wrong man i'm still frazzled okay uh, i actually meant to start this about i don't know uh, about 20 minutes ago we were supposed to start the stream and unfortunately uh i hit some traffic today so i want to say we are going an extra half hour anyway today but Lo and behold, post on Twitter, here comes the traffic. But, it's okay, we're done, we're here, we're streaming, and we're going till 7.30 today. So, because we don't have that much extra time, we will continue right away with our Oxygen Not Included adventure. Now, I have to remember what we were doing, but from what I remember, everything had to do with water, and what we need to do, which is, what are you talking about? And that would be anything with... Oh, let me kick in our power. Alright, that would be anything to do with filtering this nastiness we're starting to accumulate to getting more. And at the end of Thursday's stream, we discovered our cool steam vent over here. So we found a renewable source of water for a little bit of water anyway. And obviously there's all this contaminated water everywhere, every which way we go. We can take that, sieve that, but we don't even have sieves researched yet. So... Our main goal right now is to try and get this treatment plant going and see how far we can get with getting that fresh water in there too. Secondary goal is dealing with food, which we started the construction of a kitchen before and because we noticed a lot of our food was going bad unfortunately. And we'll have to deal with that accordingly as well. So we're trying to get the kitchen going, refrigerators, all that fun jazz. Am I dropping frames? No, I'm spiking. Hmm. That's weird. We usually don't spike like that. What is going on with that? Oh, well, FPS boost in the meantime. Okay. What do we got going? We have the food, uh, we have the kitchen going, and we're gonna get that up and running. We have to figure out what the research situation is. We are going towards distillation which is exactly where we need to go and we'll have to worry about our treatment plant here and unfortunately we're getting a lot of natural gas right here because we have quite a few gassy duplicates going at the same time it'd be nice to have those canisters going which i think are also unlocked at the same time which they can empty gas and put them in cans and you could store them for later and this would be one of those good cases because we don't exactly have a way to use that uh Oh wow, we really need to produce much more oxygen too. We really don't have a way to uh, use up that natural gas yet. Given our oxygen issue too, we're going to need to address that. And we're going to need to address power. Oxygen not included. There's always a lot on the list. So, because the oxygen's having a hard time reaching everywhere, we don't care too much down below. It's going okay in this direction. It's because we're opening up a lot of area up here. We're probably going to want to add um, another, uh, what do you call it, the, the algae thing. So we'll let that bleed off over here. Because we can. We'll also put a priority six on all of that. Because that's just as important. Um... Power is not hooked up for these guys yet either, unfortunately. Alright, so now we, all we can really do is wait for the research to go, because we have quite a few projects to go. Um, I mean, they're more than welcome to start building this area too soon, because more food is good. But until we have a way to process that... Hmm. I know I put this in here, but I don't really have a use for it yet, because I'm not... I'm not ranching anything yet. Alright, good. And there goes that. Go a little bit faster. And we should start to get some of this stuff going. Once that wire's connected, we should be good to go and deconstruct a lot of this stuff down here. Like, we won't need these extra batteries, really. We won't need this. We'll be able to make this a whole separate system too because right now they're still linked up 
I might honestly leave those barriers for the time being, so we'll just disconnect all of this and take that down. Should be good to go there. Alright, so this is at the point actually where it should be getting power. Why is it not? Because mm, this little one piece of wire was not built. I'm not hooking up that grill anytime soon, so we don't really need that high quality of food yet. And that's going, that's going, everything's going. Good to go. Now, unfortunately, they don't have a room for a kitchen, really. So it's just a kind of a useless room. I might be able to figure out something that's okay with industrial machinery, which this is considered. Alright, and that's hooked up with power. That doesn't need power, so at any time we can deconstruct this wire. And make sure we got our same settings over here. We have the Lice Loaf queued up on continuous. Honestly, we're going to need a mush bar. Put this at priority 7. So, we can deconstruct this at any time now. And be able to take out those extra wires as well. At a priority of 7, just because it's a small grouping. And yeah, we're going to need some serious oxygen going here. I think... Considered these a priority seven. Yeah, because oxygen's very important. Good, 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 good. And research done. Mm, we're getting off to a quick start today. Okay. I mean, what are you expecting at max speed, actually, now I think about it? But, okay. So we got that research done. Next thing that we should go into, so research is not idle. Air systems wouldn't be bad. Liquid reserve. Stores liquid resources of your choosing. Not incredibly useful yet, because we don't have a problem with too much liquid. Germ sensor, apothecary. I mean, what does it take to get the, the refined metal? I could start getting into better power sources here, so we can get transformers and whatnot going. That will be necessary soon, but... I do want to drop the research down on priority so we get some of these other projects going. Um, G priority six, please. And we'll queue up this. And those are really just for decoration. So we'll put sixes on those, but it's really just decoration at that point. Uh, yep, nobody for cooking. Oxygen going a little better in this region. Things are going swimmingly well. So, next, slow it down. Make sure we have enough beds for the next duplicate that's coming in. Yes, and we can fill out C block and take a pause before we get too many duplicates. Um, this is one of those areas that's just kind of getting really contaminated, unfortunately. Uh, and I do need to deal with that somewhat. So the first thing is going to be to actually airlock this so we don't get any of the contaminated water go oxygen from the water going out. Um, I don't think I have anything for filtering yet. Actually, so maybe I should do that first instead of that so we can get this filter going, this de um, deodorizer and the carbon skimmer, and the ore scrubber, which would all be very good. Um, comes with the water sieve, it is very large, unfortunately. I don't have a need to filter any of this yet, but it could become a thing. So I'll probably end up placing one right about here for the time being. And we can let it sift into here when we need to hook that up. It will need power as well. So we can run a power line over here. Oh, strike that. Yvonne, thank you for the host. How are you doing? Much appreciated. I need a switch. I need a switch. I think 
you right there. Just for temporary. We're not hooking up any pipes for the time being. Thank you for that host once again. I hope you had a great stream yourself, because I did see you go online before. Alright, and that's okay for the time being. Really, really need to deal with the oxygen situation. Down here, anyway. Uh, no way to purify the air. Doing good, doing good. I'm glad you're doing good, too. Had a little bit of a slower start today, unfortunately. We have an extra 30 minutes today in our usual hour slot, but as soon as you tweet about it, something's going to happen, so promptly traffic had stalled me. But we're up and running, we're good to go, and I'm playing Oxygen Not Included. What else do I need to say, right? Aside from the fact that they're all going to suffocate soon. Uh, okay. So... That needs to happen, so we don't have contaminated oxygen going throughout the base. Uh, this is... De decontamination is now happening for research. And we'll have our waterway... ready. Eventually. You always end up killing them? I do too. I make it about... I think the furthest I ever made was maybe cycle 70-ish, on average. And... Something kicks in. It's either starvation, or lately the big killer has been germs. They can't breathe. They can't breathe for you? I know, I, that's, that's the other thing too, is you end up running out of, like, algae, and you can't use these, um, algae, I think they're deoxidizers, deoxidizers. Way better than you? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, as long as you're having fun, it doesn't really matter, right? I just, I love the automation process, but dang, it's hard to get it perfect for sure. Alright. Those should all have power. Why do they not have power? Because I didn't hook up any of them. And that would be helpful to hook up one of these at a priority six, please, and thank you. Oh, excuse me. And you should stay at a six as well. Make sure that's all taken care of. I never, ever, ever claim to be an expert in this game. I will, never will. And I don't understand how some people can get to, like, cycle, like, 300. It's crazy. Like, I know the whole rocket update came out months ago, and I, I'm never going to be able to touch that. It'd be great if we could, but... Priorities? Priorities right now. We've got an extra barrack on three. We've got the... Uh, what do you want to call it? We've got the food, another food chamber on five. We've got future plans on three. Right now I'm trying to not keep it above five or six if I can help it with brief sevens in the really, really necessary places. Because that always gets me too, is I start using sevens and the average priority is seven, then the average priority is eight, and then it's nine, and then nothing gets done. So. Oh boy. I'm just, I just, I'm, I'm trying to learn from my past mistakes and actually fix some of these. Oh god, problems! Terry T Gaming, thank you for the host, sir! Oh my god, you were streaming earlier too, how did you do? All the streamers are coming on over, oh my god, it's a party up in here. Alright. Oxygen. Okay, needs more, um... Needs more ventilation. That's not gonna work out, so... Blop, blop, blop. Priority six, six. And not saying that last one. Thought you were returned to favor? Much appreciated, sir. Good to see you in chat, too. Sorry I couldn't pop in before with both of you, actually. Um, I work nine to five, so throughout the day I can throw hosts everywhere, but IT is always watching, so it's kind of hard for me to get that moment to go in on chat. And the boss likes to come over frequently, so. I appreciate you both being here and returning the favor. Never expected, but I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you're enjoying the stream so far. I've got everything on a very slow pace right now, though. Mm. Okay, so we can start taking on some big, bigger projects, I think. Uh, G, priority six. Alright, so because we're getting the foundations of our filtration system going... We have better food going, not solid yet, with the refrigerators. Can I actually make the continuous slice loaf? I can, so we're going to knock that off. No worries, mate. I don't really get to do much more than the odd Twitter posts at work. 
I know, today I was lucky it was a little bit slower, so I could get Twitter in no problem, because you can open and close that, but when you start getting engaged in chat, and I really want to give, like, everybody my 100% attention, and the boss comes over, that's a recipe for disaster. <laughs> What do I work? I am a 9 to 5 mechanical engineer. I do a lot of designs for um, what would be considered press mounting equipment. Essentially, you know all the uh, the big machines that like to come down and stamp out metal. And they make things like pots and pans, for example, is probably a really common one. I do a lot of the material, uh, design a lot of the machines that help make that possible and a lot of that process possible. Oh god, we got a lot of red today. Um. We got an early bird, unconstructive gourmet, who wants to farm and tidy. We got a cook with a bottomless stomach. Um, night owl and uncultured. I know, it's kind of one of those, like, jobs, but let's just say I'm good with math and we'll leave it, that, leave it at that. You're in CNC brake press program. Really? Okay, so you're on the other side of it then. You're in the manufacturing side of it. That's really cool, actually. I'd love to learn how to do some CNC operations, but my job doesn't require it, unfortunately. I do think it's really neat, though. Unconstructive. Eh. God, I'm gonna I'm gonna settle for Ruby, and then you fill out C block, and that's game on that. All right, so we got. I'm looking for the water overlay. There it is. Okay, that's set. Don't really need any water or anything more than plumbing. Food's okay right now. I'll keep an eye on that. Um, on the research side of things, it's going slow because I told it to go slow. Bump that up a little further then. Get the oxygen flowing out of that corner a little nicer, and we should be set there. So should the next thing be getting more water or more power is, the next, is the, what we really need to worry about. If we start getting rid of the manual power, we don't have to worry about as much energy consumption, and the food should go down, hopefully, so we can take on more people. It's interesting at the first stages, and then it's boring as <laughs> boring as beep until a new drawing comes through. See, I make the drawings for you, too. I, I'm, the, I'm the side that you, you like to yell at, I'm sure. Um, Y'all have some fancy jobs. My husband is IT guy. And what do you do yourself, Yvonne? IT is respectable, of course, too. You gotta really think on your toes with that one. I don't think I could ever do IT, to be honest. I mean, I grew up with a person who did IT for um, his profession, but... Yeah, it, it just seeing the other side of it, it's like you, you realize how hard it is to be on that side of the desk, too. You just stream? That works perfect, too. You're living the dream that all of us would love to do right now. Slash house, wife? Slash house? What do you do at your house? Oh my god, what? Is it, is it like blood on the walls and everything, like a slasher film kind of thing? I don't think I've ever heard that term before, actually. Alright, good to go there. Um, power plant's probably where we should head to next. And we have this nice little opening here. That would be perfect for that. And when the wa and when the... Wait, did I ever... Yeah, when the skimmers are ready, we can start siphoning out carbon dioxide too. So that'll be another use for the water we can use. and be good to keep those down low. Oh. Oh, I, I can't put a slat. Okay. Uh, like, streamer slash housewife. Oh, okay, okay, I got you now. I got you. We're on the same page. God, you hit me word there. I thought you were, like, killing people at your house. Like, I'm never coming over. <laughs> yeah, our drafts person is a part-timer, but I am trained in AutoCAD, so I can do drawings, which makes me even more annoying to the guy that does this stuff. So you know both sides of the field, so you know when he's dragging his feet, you can kick him in the butt real good, right? I don't do so much AutoCAD, I do Inventor, but I, my job does have AutoCAD as well. So, I... If you've, if you've ever tried something a little past AutoCAD, you see its perks and its benefits, but then you also see that it's a lot better for, like, electrical side of things than AutoCAD is, but... 
Alright, I digress here. I need to utilize this little space here, because we are getting research for transformers and whatnot. I lied, we were, we changed our mind. We can start getting stuff for coal generators and then do transformers. So, we need to figure out a setup we want. And because there's enough to do, we'll leave that on a low speed. What were you playing before Oni? Oh, I I mix it up everywhere. I go from I go from oxygen not included, I go to PSO2 on the weekends or whenever we get like a nice 4 or 5 hour bonus time. Um Heretech, uh, Momodora we just finished not too long ago. I, variety, I guess is the easiest way to say it. Anything sandbox and RPG. In a nutshell. Alright, so I'm going to try a little bit different format. Usually I put the uh, Transformers up top. But this time I'm going to put them kind of central to the base. So we'll see if I can fit a couple of these coal generators in here. Pretend there's one there. Put one there. Make a space. One, two, three. We can power those as necessary. We need battery banks, unfortunately, too. Which don't have a heck of a lot of space for if I do that. Yes. We're, we're a variety gaming, pretty much, but we do focus on those genres for the most part. I can't build anything here. So I'm wondering if it's even okay to do this many coal generators right now. Oh, excuse you. Come on. Please don't actually build those. No, 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 no. Priority three, please. I don't want you to build those. You move up there. I don't want you to deal with that yet. I'm just thinking. If I tried Rimworld yet, no, I have seen that you played that a couple times. Is that kind of like around this, um, the same genres? It seems interesting. It seems like kind of like the survival-esque um, game as well. I need power. So we're going to run off three generators for the time being. I'm going to do one generator powering three batteries, maybe? So we'll do one, two... I need one more space than that, so that's not going to work. Oh. Somebody mastered a job. The on the fly design is never great. So let's think about having a floor there. We'll think about having a floor just the size of that, too. And we'll knock out holes as we need to. When it comes to power, I want to put tons of batteries in here. And I know the transformer is about three wide, so we're going to imagine that's the end as well. And we'll have another floor. When it comes to putting the batteries in here... Actually, I need to check one more thing before I do that. Power plant, max size is 96 tiles. Okay, so that's going to determine what we can do, too. Uh, it's a colony micromanaged game with insane levels of detail while being really simple. I am totally hooked. That sounds like just like this game, then. It is 100% colony-based with tons of detail in it, and you could easily lose yourself in this game with how the systems are functioning here. So, I really don't like this. Wow, I really just don't think I like how this is panning out there. I'm trying to think of a system that's not going to bite me in the butt later on. That's the thing. So I'm going to have three of those there. I might have to come back and think about that one. Because I can't, it's not coming to my head right now, so we'll move on to something else. That's already built. Yeah, I know you got power. Which is not. Well, you almost got power. Oxygen. It's okay. Let that research roll. And we'll think about this power situation later, but we'll put some doors in the plan for later, too. Worst case, we can just reformat this area to be a little different. We'll have the rows, and that'll be good for now. Dig you down. Maybe mop that up, because somebody made a mess a long time ago. Never got cleaned up. And I just remembered that Ruby is on the wrong... It's on the wrong cycle. So you're going to be on the C-block cycle, because that's where you are. Uh, I have to shoot work in the morning. Have a great stream. All right, thank you very much for stopping by, and thank you again for the host. Have a good night's rest, and get ready for work tomorrow. We 
forgot. For some reason, we still haven't built that wire. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, nothing's assigned there. That's the problem. Uh, and there's no power in any of this. Ugh. Irks. Edible. Yeah, uh, anything that's not... Okay. Yeah, we'll do it that way. I was gonna say, are you going too, Yvonne? Alright, we're not taking a new dupe, new dupe anytime soon. Alright, they've actually built this whole next layer up here. So excuse me while I put all our new row of mealwood seeds in. So I absolutely hate dealing with blossom seeds. They're so fickle. They're so, so fickle. Still here for a bit more? Okay, appreciate you sticking around. Especially as someone who's played this game before, I imagine you see this in a completely different view than I do, so it's I'm sure it's interesting on your end, too. Now, when it comes to stations, farming station here. Um, that'll need to get built soon. If I want that to be a full room, but it is a room for the time being, so I guess we're not problem right there. I really need to finalize this area too soon. Like, I gotta think about when this water goes down, what I need to do. I'm gonna say that we're gonna put it down just as far. Except that's not quite as deep, is it? Fresh water is important, and we can always dig these lower if we need to. We'll share a common wall, which might be a little dangerous if we start getting too much pressure. I haven't seen that be a problem once you double them up. Waiting for the hubby to leave? Leave for work? What time zone are you in? Are you, um... Does he go to work late? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to, I'm just a little curious. I'm waiting for my girlfriend to get home, too, actually. She should be here in, like, 15 minutes or so. Okay, um... Gotta say, I hate where those are. I can't stand those. And that's almost blocked. Yeah, it is blocked off. Okay, so that's good. We don't have to worry about the contamination spreading everywhere. Plenty of that stuff building up, too. The problem is once this drops, I'm not going to be able to get that water, so I'll have to figure out a different sense for that. Let me fix my grammar. I'm waiting on my hubby so we can leave. We are going to run some errands. Oh, okay. I got you. I think I found out. It's 5.50 p.m. here, so you are an hour behind, so you're like somewhere around the Midwest, I imagine. Okay. I used to go to school in the Midwest, that's the only reason I really know that. Alright, so that's unfortunately not really lining up great, but we'll deal with it as it comes. Texas. Texas! Okay, so south of the middle, south of the middle of the, con of the continent. Okay. <laughs> middle of the continent, of the country. I follow you now. Okay, so this is one thing we can do is we can eventually retrofit this to get some water. Pump it up here, maybe. It's an odd shape. Might just be better to cap that off and make it a really, um, really different uh, little nook for something in the future. I am on the East Coast, so it is 646 right now where I am. All up in stuffy old Connecticut. Fun times. Oh shoot, they're already building that. I didn't want you guys to do that anytime soon. Alright, well since this area is already locked off, we could start getting some new water into the system. So we'll put you right in the middle. I'm going to need to run power down here too. Um, and this is the vent I chose to use, so we'll run that along the side there. And we will run that. We'll run this one this way, parallel to it. I'd really rather you guys work on this, unfortunately. So, dig 
that, and that, and I guess I'll put you at a priority five then, so we can just get that going whenever. Yeah, my girlfriend is working. She works as a um, homemaker and companion, um, so she's working with older people who've kind of lost some mobility and need someone a little to help them around the house, maybe just like washing dishes or just being there as a friend. And she doesn't get home until a little bit later because of her last client. She's actually, I think she's out now, but she's got to commute home, of course. Nice if we could tr instantly transport somewhere, but... Alright, because of this weird little nook here, I think I'm going to end up planning to put something else here related to power. Like, we'll, we'll cancel this build right here. We'll let the floor level off here, just to make things a little interesting. And unfortunately, we'll need this build off. Okay, she must be really nice and patient then. She is. But don't you test her. She'll, she'll put them in their place if they, she needs to. It's definitely a job that requires a lot of patience, though, I agree. I admire her for being able to do that. I don't know if I could ever have that much patience. Okay. So this is running here. Uh, vent, that's okay there, I guess. If I think about it like this, unfortunately this would make two... What does a power plant need? I'm gonna keep that going. I don't know why I keep pausing. Power plant needs a power control station. Is that all it needs? Electrical engineers can tune up generators built with the power plant and improve their production. Okay. So where's the um, power station then? It's power shut off. It's not an automation, is it? Hydrogen power control station. It's over here. Okay. Increase the output of generators. So we want that in a room with generators, otherwise it's just useless. Uh, my grandma can be so stubborn sometimes, she just pushes my buttons, but I love her. I know, you can't help but love the old ladies, right? <laughs> no, they'd be a bit more respectful, though. Yeah, I know, they, um... Well, I mean, think about it. It's, like, it's hard to kind of like get to that point where it's like, you used to be able to do whatever you can, and suddenly you need help. It's a lot of pride to swallow that and say, I need help. So... I try to think of it like that anyway, but in like a more positive sense. I'm not sure if it's coming quite off quite as optimistic as I think it's sounding. Alright, so we're going to do it this way. Because we have this extra room here, I might just drop this down a few layers, actually. Change my mind, make the room even more interesting. And queue up power. And I'm talking the batteries, because it doesn't matter what room the battery's in, apparently. Um... just realized it's going to matter what where the transformers are, though. Darn it. Ugh, I keep going back and forth with this stuff. Alright. We're going to have to put a tester. We're going to say two generators. Um, for sure. On these layers, because these are each going to be a little power station. I might need to do something else for the runoff of the battery. I might even just put three in. I'll have to store the power a different way, unfortunately. Oh, where's the power? I'm literally looking at it. There we go. So, we'll template it out like this. And there will be a transformer here. And maybe I'll have a switch, and maybe I'll have a battery here, just for something. I always forget about water. When I dig, I flood my house. I know. I've, I'm trying so hard not to take this wall out anytime soon, which I'm really surprised that little corner hasn't leaked, actually. I'm trying not to flood my build. Some people actually use... This is interesting. I don't really know how to pull it off completely. Some people actually take this contaminated water that's down here and lay a little layer of it at the bottom of where their generators are. So when it produces a lot of heat, that turns to steam. And somehow that actually takes the contamination out of it. You can just suck that up, cool it down, and you have clean water without ever using sand. That's the theory. I don't know how to pull it off, unfortunately, so I'm not going that route anytime soon. But it's it's pretty interesting. Okay, you know what I'm going to do with that little room here? I'm going to turn that into an oxygen room. When it comes to taking the oxygen, I'll make this be the processing plant, because that would be good because it's right next to the water. I can electrolyze it. And I can take all the hydrogen out, 
and deal with it that way. I might have to move where these vents are, or I can just kind of cap it off a little bit, but then they're just going to flow through. But I think this would be a nice little port for an oxygen room. I know, like, it, it's, you can, this game gets so complex that you don't even realize it. You can vaporize any, any liquid, pretty much. You can liquefy any vapor. It, 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 this is what I mean when I was talking with, when I was telling Terry. This game's kind of like that. It's got so many layers to it, you don't even realize how far it can go until you test the limits. Or see someone who's gotten to, like, cycle 300 or something. It's nuts. Uh, have you tried mopping the dirty water, like... Uh, on, like, on, yeah, like, one in the clean water. I can't read for some reason. Uh, just those small parts. I think the problem is, once there's too much water, it doesn't let you mop? Whoa, since when did it let me do that? What? Oh. And that's unreachable mop. Wow, I actually didn't think I could mop in the large body of water like that. It usually gives me lip. Thank you for that advice. If somebody gets down there like stinky... Oh my god! Well done. We don't have to worry about a filter anytime soon. Thank you so much for that little tip I did not know about. And this is what I mean. You got different perspective on things, so you know those little things. That's a cool little trick, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so yeah, we'll do that. We'll put the transformer here. I just need to think about where I want the batteries to go. Because I need to hold the power somehow. I don't want to dig into the slime if I can help it. I really don't want to deal with that contamination. And the thing is, I can get... Maybe I make this last row all about the power storage instead. I can make that last row about the power storage. And then I shouldn't have to worry too much. Um, thanks again for the host. I'm going, see, uh, going, but see you later. Have a great stream. No problem. Thank you so much for the host. Have fun with your hubby doing errands. Appreciate you stopping by, and once again, I appreciate that host. Oh, that's wrong. Alright. Things are going well. Hope to see you again, too, if you're still there. I forgot to add that little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Power. We need power. Need all the power. So, got plenty of coal generators. Big batteries, I mean... Maybe it would be better to... Drop this down two more. And make, like, a battery bank here. And I can get, like, four of those, um... What do you call them? The four of those transformers off there. Just kind of wire the power up into them. That's not too much of an issue, I think. Because that should be plenty of space for... Let's see. It's about as wide as a coal generator. So yeah, you can fit two of those in, no problem. And then some switches. Somebody else mastered a job. So, we'll do it this way. So, 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 so. Okay. <laughs> like that. Like this. Two, three. We'll queue up at least... One, two... Yeah, I know you're going to have to deconstruct that one, of course. We'll queue up at least three. Man, really, you're going to do that to me. Let's check to make sure nothing's going awry while we're doing this either. So, oxygen, good. Food, going well. Um, Life's loaf is queued up but not producing, so we'll make some mush for a while. We have our third farm in place already, and I can probably take these out once that grows, so we don't have this random bed of plants. I might leave these four in the middle, just for nostalgia, not necessarily aesthetics, and take those ones out, and I might be able to repurpose that room eventually. Uh, research progress. We are... Did we finish research? Oh my god, we did. Oh, I didn't even realize we finished distillation. Okay, so, move on to advanced power supply so we can get the small transformer. Even though I want the big transformer and the heavy watt cable. I mean, I could start with the small transformer, that's not an issue. We'll just upgrade it in the future rather than go too far down that tree. That's good. So, 
developing power over here. Do it like that, put a three, put a gap of three there, I'd say. So we can make this still kind of interesting, but keep room for like levers and stuff as well if we need to. Oh wait, I just forgot one of the power things we need to be here. Let me think about this for a brief second. So, yeah, we got three there, bop and bop, but I'm going to need to deconstruct at least that. When it comes to power in different spots, so one, and two, so we can mirror you here, here, and you could get built there once that's gone. And that leaves us two on this side, three in the middle. If we ever built out that way, we could do so. And there's plenty of room, not bad. Pretty, I'm not gonna go that far. Every time. Like that. We can the door's a little high now. So we're gonna have to deconstruct this no matter what. Maybe I'll leave. Maybe I'll leave that. Can I put one here? I'm gonna need another piece here. I'll leave that like this, and I'll just put a ladder going up and down like that. Dig all this out. Should be good. Now, other projects, because that's underway, and we have the better research going. What's next? We don't have a massage clinic yet. I don't even think we've unlocked that. That would be good just for a general morale boost. Where is that? Where is the massage table now? They move these things around all the time and I don't know where any of the research is anymore. Hmm. No idea. Was under furniture. I think. It's not a station. It's, we do have the ore scrubber utility, that's good. I need to start doing that too. Once we get our foundations a little more set. Is this overloaded? No, it's just using power. Potential consumption is only 180. So I don't know what they're talking about. It's just that there's not a lot of power. Mm. Yeah, it's not going to last long at all either. Darn. If nothing else, we need to put that on power soon. I might even just kind of tick out one of these. Just one block in each of these, and it'll make the room all one room. I just gotta make sure it's not too big, too. So the room's overlay is here. So, this room is 56 tiles. This room, okay. So no, those are gonna have to be separate, I think, because I don't think I can get... So if this is 56, that's gonna be 56. So 56 times two is 112, and that's above our maximum. We could cut into it by, let's say it's 12, so how far off are we? About, what, like 14 for quick math? So we need to find a way to occupy 14 blocks of space if we did that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Could work if it's not 3 tall, but it is probably, so we'll just bite it and put 2 overlays in there instead. Rather than deal with that. Or two um, stations. They're called stations. Which is progressing. Which I have no idea how big those are either. Worst case, we can take a generator out too, I guess. Because so we probably don't need all of these generators going at once. I'm not sure if I want all of them to run off the same power or to have them go separate. 
we're going one, one row into the these, and then we can have it pull from one of those, I think. Mm, might not be the case. Might have to all be together. We'll think about the logistics of that later. If, worst case, we put another row of batteries if necessary for... Our, or just have an empty row. Or just have one have a bigger capacity. So we'll have two fill up one of these, two fill up one of these, and two of these fill up the last two. It'll be a shared storage spot with bigger capacity, like a mainline kind of thing. That wouldn't necessarily be bad. Alright. That's going well. Water is fine. They've actually started construction over here. And how is everybody's... You know, surprisingly, this top guy on the, um, on the list here, you can't really read it. It's Trivaldo. This little guy right here, he was on the cusp of it going sick a long time ago, and he's actually recovering. So that means we're doing something right. Now that said, I think some of these duplicates are ready for the next stage of their job. As necessary, of course. So who do we have on the job board right now? Alright, we have a couple people that are missing jobs, too. Uh, we want somebody that wants to be a gopher. Kevin's a gopher. But you're also a good research assistant. Does anybody here want to be a research assistant? Ruby wants to be a farmhand and a groundskeeper. Well, right now we only have one farmhand. I think... Somebody had an interest in being a, um, a rancher. Might not have been Ruby. We'll have to deal with that later, unfortunately. So, because we have one person that wants to be a farmhand, one that wants to be a gopher, we have nobody still for shoot, sous chef or art student, and nobody that's good at that. We'll put, I know Chi doesn't like to be a researcher, but we'll put her on there. We'll put Nails as another miner, and we'll move Travaldo to be a more experienced miner, because we don't have any way for that. And we need another, ar a better architect, so we'll put Ferrets on that, she's better. And we'll have... Oh, you could be a farmhand or a groundskeeper. Groundskeeper's not as necessary, so I think we're going to put you as a farmhand, because we're starting to get a lot more food. New duplicate in half a cycle. Probably not going to happen, because we haven't actually dug out the next area. Which, we can actually put that on a five now. So that's good. We can queue up the last of this. And we officially have three farmlands. Once those grow up a bit more, we'll take out some of those. Food is going swimmingly well. To the point where we're going to switch over to the other foods. We're not constantly eating the bad stuff. I'm cautiously optimistic. This is like, it feels too smooth right now. What am I forgetting? Oxygen production's okay. We're starting to get a little high on the carbon dioxide. So that's one thing we can deal with next. Um, how do I want to deal with that, though, is the question. The carbon dioxide's flowing all to the bottom, because it is the heavier gas. Uh, when it comes to this area, I don't really want to deal with it... I could try and siphon it over here because these guys are going to make carbon dioxide no matter what. So maybe what I do is I dig out another new area here. We're going to make it under here. We're going to put a couple carbon skimmers if I can find them. I think it's under oxygen. Yeah, carbon skimmers. They're not terribly big. So we'll put them under about here. We'll try not to go under the power plant, so we'll try and siphon them, like, this way. Two, three. Um... We're gonna need a pump somewhere in here, too. Actually, we won't, because we'll have... We'll have it just flow down, so we don't have to worry about that, I think. Let me check the gas overlay, actually. They might need some plumbing into it. 
Where's the gas overlay? Oh, come here, you. Not that one. Not this one. That's water. Where's the freaking... Okay, you know what? We're gonna do it a different way. There should be a plumbing with air, if I can find it. Ventilation. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, because it's not built, it's not showing me. But I am don't know if it needs a input for air. Let's see. Requirements, carbon dioxide, power, liquid intake, and liquid outtake. Okay, so that's a no. We, If I run it below here, we'll have issues. So what I'm probably going to do is this is the area where this is going to happen. I'm going to have a little bit of a dead zone here that I might use for other things. Um, move this over a little more. We'll shift one of these doors like this. Um, still not quite right. Not quite right. Shift it like this. Put a door right. Meow. Put that down this way. And I hope I'm not building myself a new corner like this. When it comes to ventilation, we'll make sure that this whole area is ventilated around here so it comes down. Liquid intake, it can siphon from here no problem. Um, we will put... For plumbing, we will put a liquid valve as well in this area because the green is the output. Why is the input? Or the intake. So we'll do it like this where we have the valve. Like this. So they could still take water from the same thing. Or maybe I'll just put it over here. We'll put it like this, and we'll have it run this way. When it comes outtake, we'll have them um, go down and out. So this is the output pipe. And we do intake. We'll take it from here. I don't know if I can just bridge over. I don't think I can. I think I can go like this. And that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we'll have that going there. That's good. I know I just heard another duplicate. I'm not ready for that anytime soon. We'll cancel this out. Put some airflow here. Uh, we'll cancel... No, oh, that's a lie. That's already done. So we'll put airflow here. And maybe even over here. It's kind of an ugly build when you do it that way. So maybe we'll take that out try and do it in here. For the time being, it's going to come down here. If we start digging lower, we're going to need to address piping it in here, which we can still do, and then close off a lot of this ventilation, which wouldn't be an issue. When it comes to these things, we're going to need some, in, some vents under them. Like, we'll put one directly under each of these. I mean, that said, I'm going to need to cancel a couple of these. Another job mastery. Everyone's getting there. So we got that flowing. Okay, directly from below these, so it should just fall down. Worst case, we'll start putting more over here. It should just all flow into there. And we could siphon all that in, no problem. And the carbon dioxide should just fall in there. When it comes to getting the actual water, and getting rid of it, too. That's the next step. We cannot have the uh, water empty out into this same part because it's part of our shower system. If we start doing that, it's going to get backed up. I've had that issue before. So we're going to need a whole separate outgoing line. Which could go... Could it go right there? Seems a little tight if I did that. 
I don't want to run it through here if I can help it. I don't want to run it underneath because that's going to start limiting what we can do. I mean, I could have it run into this as well. I could have it run into that same vent. Because these are so tight, though, it's kind of difficult. Hmm. I've made an interesting problem for myself, it seems. Well, let's focus on the intake, then. Just thinking about that, not quite connecting it up. We can run the intake through this part. No problem. Just like that. Not connecting that up right there. And we can have it diverge. And we can control the flow based on this and we can make it as minimal as possible. The showers don't need that much. Um, I could even do it this way instead just to make it a little cleaner looking. Move it down. Not connecting that yet. The interesting problem is figuring out how I want to run the output. So I know I want the outtake to come out like this, and probably run parallel to it if I can help it. So that's not so bad. And then we get to this point. I could bridge over, and then I'd be trapped. And then just run it below could run it like this and run a liquid vent here down below another liquid bridge here and right into there and when it comes to over here you can run it down this way take a bridge not like that like this where green is the output Cancel this one, put the plumbing right there, and that should run it no problem. I can run up, the, I can put out the output line no, no problem, but the intake I can't run until this is all ready to go. Um, so with that said, I guess that's ready whenever. That's all queued up. All right, so now we're gonna do a status check on everything. We're going here, and we're gonna do a little time check too. Nine, no nine. 7.14, so we got about a couple more minutes to go. What can we do in the meantime? Let's kick it a little faster and see what needs to get done. Uh, we need a very seasoned digger around here, so we're never going to get to this water. That's not having... Yvonne, how are you doing? That was a quick errand. Welcome back. Everything go good, hopefully? Oh, I really want to bite. Oh, wow, they're even making the other barracks. Oh, no. You're tempting me. Whatever you do, do not. I repeat, do not build that. All right, maybe that's one thing we should handle then. We should handle um, that whole water situation. Because that's going to become a pain in the tuchus real quick. I don't think I can get the water to go that far. If we can get at least this much out for the time being, I'm okay with that. And I can even use this water pipe later on, too. Um, what's hard is now I have a fresh water line that I need to run. And I don't really have the space to do that anymore because I kind of screwed myself with this. Hmm. Well, I want to run it down like this, no matter what. If I run it into here, I've made this way too tight, so maybe... Maybe I get rid of that. Maybe I just get rid of this here. Change how I'm doing this a little bit. We can even just reroute this around. Well, I'm glad it went well for you. We can reroute this around. We can put a vent there to drop the fresh water out. And I could just do it like this, rather than do all that bridging nonsense like I was doing. Was anything too complicated, I hope? I hope well, I hope it wasn't too complicated, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and to clean things up, we'll put... You're really not going to let me do it like that? Ugh. 
You let me do that. B okay. Um, so you're not going to let me bridge directly into it? Then we're going to have to reroute it again. Man, this is finicky. Okay. So. Where O is the output. That's fine. If I put the liquid vent here. And the piping right. Meow. That's good. Up. Over. Down and about. So I can run it down a multitude of ways, unfortunately. Um, God, there's too many options. Uh, we will throw it down this way. Just trying to hide it in the walls. Nope. And we can get it closer to the source. What the heck? Why'd that not connect? Get it closer to the source like this. Cancel this a little bit. Take that liquid straight down here into our chamber. And if we're able to dig this out eventually, that would be beautiful, but I don't think we can until we get this wall situation figured out. So that's all set with this, almost. I spoke too soon. That's going to be tricky. I might have to ladder my way over here. Make like a sub-platform. Just so they can build a lot of this stuff. Change that. We're going to do it like this. Little sub-platform. Kind of weird looking. We'll fix that eventually, maybe. I'll probably forget about it. And then power is the thing that we need. Um, I could siphon power up here. Or I could just give it its own bank. And just have it... Um, I have it just to get powered on manual, so because this is going to be temporary anyway. So, manual with a battery. So they charge that up. They'll run the pump for a while. And that should be all set when that goes. We won't have to worry about that water situation when that happens. Oh, I will bite. We have part of D-block ready. And it is considered barracks right now, I believe. So I'll bite. We'll start D-block today. Research, re ranch, and build. Oh, why can I not find a cook or an artist? I don't want any of you. I'm feeling vindicated. I don't want to deal with that unless I see some something I actually need right now. There's no battery power still. We're going to need to deal with that soon. I mean, maybe I don't deal with the batteries that much at all. As soon as I say that, we have power complete. At least dance power. Alright, so where else should we go to? Not going to continue down this way yet. What needs our attention? Temp shift. Oh, excuse me. Oh, well, we never got air system, so we can just do that quick. Um... Pop that down to a 5 in both categories. Should be good. Uh, then we can start on the stations. So, how... Oh, God, you need refined metal. Okay. I'm going to need to deal with that. How do I get refined metal? Natural gas. Oil refinery. Petroleum. Why do I never know where refined metal is? Conveyor... Auto sweeper. Robo miner? What the heck? Wow, this is crazy. Whoa, what is all this stuff out here? Oh my god. Oh my god, I didn't know this was all here. Oh wow. Okay, this tree is gone big time. Okay, so where's refiner the metal refinery then? It's clay into ceramics. Produces sand from raw materials. Inefficient produces refined metals from raw. Okay, so it's inefficient. So it means there should be something that produces... Okay. So we'll need the brute force more than the air systems right now. Get into that rather than get left behind there. And now with power, we have these small transformers, which they are really small. 
And I know for a fact I'm going to need at least two, so I'm leaving space over here for them to grow. I also don't really know how big this station is. Like, I really wish I knew the size of it. Th that would make things a little easier. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting dilemma, because I'd love to put one just like right there and not have to worry about it, but we might have to. Because none of this has been built, too, I don't really know how much I want to deal with it. I know that's going to need to get connected. That's going to need to get connected, and so will that, and so will this. Um, not going to worry about connecting those up yet, or these generators yet, until they start getting built. Which, there's a lot of projects right now, so we'll need to pick and choose our battles. And that's going on the research rate, okay. That's cranking out. So we just really need to pick a project we want them to focus on at this point. Because we've got options. We've got a lot of options. Okay, well, because carbon dioxide is building up, I elect the carbon dioxide project first. Which is not a small project either. Alright, so we're going to need to build that. We're going to need to build this much as well. We need to build that piece. And I think that's our input and our output. So we can actually start hooking up the plumbing as well on this, because I never finished that. Alright, yep, yeah, that's all they were waiting for, was the bigger priority. So that'll be going. We can probably start um, having that go. And that's good. Okay, so they're going to run off and do all that. And we'll see what our next issue is. I would love to get to you, but there's a whole slime biome i got to get through. And I'm not ready to dive headfirst into that and get sick and die. Nobody can dig into this because of this uh, Absolite, unfortunately. It's just too darn hard. We never really found a cold biome, or a natural gas gen bi uh, vent, excuse me. We have small bits of chlorine here and there. Alright, how's your progress, guys? Kick it a little faster. Food's going decent as well. I need some mush bars to go continuous, though, because we're not producing the other stuff. Sit back, relax, and let the little guys do the work. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm, sometimes we need to even a step faster, I think. Just, like, instant travel. See, like, how much X amount of time would progress for you. But, at the same time, I already know I'd lose track of everything if that were the case be hit with unknown problems all the time. Where's our... I, I just thought of something. We need a, um, a better farmer soon, too. I think Lyra's ready for that position soon. She doesn't care if she's a farmhand. She doesn't really want to be a rancher, so she'd rather go for farmer. And she, you need a morale of at least 12. Can we maintain that? Um, I mean, she has a 12 for morale. I don't... I want, I would like to go a little higher than that and get a little safety net, so I'm going to say no on that, then. Alright, they're good. And everybody's on the block schedules, so that's good. So, Yvonne, if you're still there, have you messed with the scheduling at all? Like, kind of getting people to clock in all the time, 24-7, you always have somebody sleeping, somebody bathing, somebody working. Oh, that is not what I wanted, Bill. Okay. That's a whole separate issue. I'm actually going to need to exchange... Well, I mean, this is going to be a little pit of, of carbon dioxide. It shouldn't be that big of an issue. Try to get the flow towards that way. Well... It's this way on camera, because it's mirrored. I need a time check. 
27. All right, we'll see what we can finish up in this meantime. So, those are all set, except for the water. They're just waiting for that little bit. And it should be good. So, we'll have you pressurize. And then we'll, we'll have you go down to like 5,000. That's good. We really need those to get built. They should be able to reach those at some point. We got natural gas everywhere. Ugh. Yeah, that's gonna be the next problem. We'll have to start harvesting that and using that for a little bit of power. I don't even have those generators yet, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright, that's going. And you guys gotta make food, of course. Okay. Let's look on the continuous. We can kick that once this next mush bar is made. Oh, they're stuck in the other liquid pipe. No, 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 guys, come on. Okay, well, if you're gonna be like that, then just finish that off, too, and you should be able to reach everything. Oh, yes, it's stinky, stinky, I know. Make sure to watch this to make sure we don't lose our med bay. We might, technically. Mm, just don't get too big. Room size is 95. We can go 96. Okay, so we're right at the cusp of that. We can't go any bigger on this med bay, but we're going to lose it once these walls are going in as well. I need you guys to not do that. And they can't reach that now. Okay. Um, Alright, so that is the max size we can go for the med bay anyway. Couldn't have cut that any closer. Um, somehow they can build this. Okay, it says they can't. For some reason it looked like they could. Um... Build and um, I don't know. You guys want to go this way? Put you on a priority six. See if we can just finish this up in the last minute here. Might not be able to. Come on, guys. You go exactly where I told you to, and not dig into this. Ugh. Well, wait. We got more workers. Never mind. Research done for brute force. Going to air systems because we're not dealing with that right now. I think all our builders are sleeping, unfortunately. Beautiful on the oxygen right now. That is absolutely beautiful. And that's no or organic. We're getting a little low on the algae. We'll have to go digging soon for more. We're gonna have to start going into slime soon. Okay. Um, get up to here. Try and dig out some of this soon, so we can take some of this algae right about there. It should be okay. Then we could deal with the chlorine and the hydrogen later on, too. That's a whole bunch of algae. Alright, you guys are almost there. Come on, come on. Oh, please and thank you. 100% on the health. Perfect. Beautiful. Awesome. I can't believe Travalo came back from that without actually getting sick. I, th I swore he was going to get food poisoning a long, long time ago, like, probably like 10 cycles ago or so. Alright. Come on. Just build that last bit, please. Mastery. Come on. Oh, you can do it. Don't tell me you can't reach that. You can reach... Uh, Yes, please, scaffolding. I'll cancel that as long as you can reach it, guys. You can 
totally reach that pipe. You can't even tell me you can't. Oh, shoot. These need power. How ironic. They're next to the future power plant, and they don't have power. Okay, well, unfortunately, that's actually all the time I have for today, so we're going to have to end it here. And we will continue this tomorrow, actually, as our next streaming day. So, thank you to Yvonne and Terry T Gaming for the host today, and everybody who stopped by for the lurk and the chat, per usual. And... Like I said, we are, we'll be continuing this adventure tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time once more. But for now, we're going to find someone to send you guys on off to. We can't just leave you here hanging. Excuse me while I refresh this dashboard. Unfortunately, they're not going to show me the current raid list. Oh, we have our hick. Who do we want to send you guys on over to? Oh, here's a nice one. We're going to send you over to Nanki Face, who is doing some Spyro. The, um, the remastered version of Spyro. So, we'll send you on over to her, and I will see you guys next time. See you later.